I'd like to welcome everyone to today's presentation. I'm Barry Bedlin, Director of Vertical Products for the Associated Press. It is my honor today to present the AP Women's Basketball Player of the Year and Coach of the Year Awards. These awards are selected at the end of each regular season by the same panel of expert journalists both weekly throughout the season on the AP Top 25 board. The awards date back to 1995. Now on to the presentation. It is hard to believe that this year's AP Women's Player of the Year didn't play a single minute of college basketball until just three and a half months ago. Since then, she has taken the sport by storm. Now that's a cliche statement that any good AP editor would strike from a story for overuse. But in her case, it's absolutely true. In just three and a half months, she has become the first player in UConn's storied history to record three straight 30 point games, including the third against then top ranked South Carolina, where she hit the game winning three in overtime. And that was in early February. By the end of the month, she had also set a new UConn record for assists in a game with 14 against Butler. She has averaged 20 points and six assists per game, shooting nearly 54% from the field and 46% from behind the three-point line. She has been named the Big East Player of the Year and unanimous Big East Freshman of the Year, joining UConn great Maya Moore as the only players to win both in the same season. She also becomes only the third freshman to be named to the AP All-America team, joining Moore and Oklahoma's Courtney Paris. And anyone who loves basketball loves watching her play, unless you are tasked with having to guard her. AP has given out this award every season since 1995, and no freshman has received it until today. It is my honor to recognize UConn's Paige Beckers as the AP Player of the Year. <laughs> Paige, go ahead and say a few words. Yeah, I mean, thank you to everybody who voted. Thank you to everybody who picked me fit for this award. Um, I'm just extremely grateful and blessed to be in this position. Um, all glory to God and my teammates and my coaches and those that have made me the person I am on and off the court today. Um, and this is just something I dreamt of doing as a kid. I mean, you can't even really dream of it because it seems so surreal and it seems so impossible. But I know with God and on my side, anything is possible. And through him, I can do anything that I can put my mind to. Um, and so just I'm just super extremely grateful to be in this position. And I thank everybody involved. I encourage you, if you haven't seen it already, uh, there's a great uh, video on the AP Top 25 Twitter feed that UConn shared with us of Coach Dino handing a page, the surprising page with the uh, trophy uh, recently in San Antonio. And I was happy to see neither he or you fumbled uh, the trophy since it's entirely made of glass, but it was a close call there. Uh, well, now we'll proceed uh, with questions for uh, both of our uh, recipients. I have a Doug Feinberg with the Associated Press with a question for Paige. And then Paige, congrats on, on winning this awards. Paige, my question for you is there's been such obviously great history in women's basketball and college level. And what does it mean to you to be the first freshman ever to win this award? Yeah, um, first of all, congrats, Coach Freeze. Um, not only a great coach, but a great person as well. Very well deserved award. Um, but yeah, no, I'm just, I mean, it's crazy to think about, um, like yesterday when I was told that I was actually the first freshman ever, I didn't believe it. Um, just knowing all the great talent that has passed, passed through college basketball, everybody who's done great things, um, in their respective programs as a freshman, um, just for me to be the first, it's really surreal and it doesn't seem like, it just doesn't seem like it's real life right now. Um, it hasn't really sunk in yet, but I'm just extremely, extremely grateful. Um, none of this would be possible without all the work that my teammates have done for me, all the work that the coaching staff has done with me, um, and just making me the player I am today and just putting me in this position. Next is Heather McDonough with NBC4 in DC. I'd love to ask one to Paige as well. You know, we saw the impact Sabrina made last year and this push really that women's basketball is at the forefront of the basketball world. Just 
what do you think your role is in, in pushing women's basketball ahead and, and really you become one of, one of the faces of, of women's basketball at, at such a young age? Um, can you put into words what, what that feeling is like for you? And, and do you, I'm sure you recognize that as well. Yeah. I mean, that's the huge reason why I play is to shine light on others and give opportunities to others and create great experiences for not only myself, but others as well. So just to be able to shine that light on the women's game, it's, it's really a huge reason of why I play. And I want to continue to do that and use my platform and use my social media presence to just continue to share this light. I know I get a lot of attention in the media, but I want to be able to share that um, with other teams, with other great players, because I know I'm not the only one in the country that could be fit for this award. Um, players like Dana Evans, Ryan Howard, Aaliyah Boston, Alyssa Kinane, um, uh, just everybody in the country who's been doing great things all season, I want to shine that light on them and make it possible for them to get as much attention as I do. Thank you both. Hi Paige and hi Brenda, congratulations to both of you on your awards. Paige, when we were able to watch the video of you getting the award and we saw you kind of surrounded by your teammates and they were just, it seemed so happy for you. And you know, as you've gotten all these awards, national attention, so much attention in Connecticut too, what does it mean for you to just be embraced by your teammates and as much as you're getting that individual attention that you're, you know, you're just embraced by them as a whole and that it's really like you always talk about, it's about the team, not just about you. Yeah, that's the most important thing to me, just being a great teammate and being there for my teammates and my coaching staff whenever they need me and just being the best version of myself I can be for them um, and for them to just take me in. And I know I get a lot of attention and they're really selfless about it and sort of we don't care who gets the individual accolades and we don't care who gets all the credit. We just want to win. And I think that's what's so special about this team is they've never gotten jealous or envious of anything that I've gotten or anybody on our team has gotten. They've all, always been supportive and they've always been by my side and backing me up and always having my back. And I think that's the most important thing to me. Um, and obviously without them, I wouldn't get this individual award. And without the great team success, I wouldn't get this individual award. So um, I'm really getting it because of them. So for me to share that experience with them and just share that award with them, I think that's the biggest thing for me. All right, next uh, we have Douglas Bonjour. Paige, hey, Doug with um, Hearst Connecticut Media. Uh, congrats. And just kind of wanted to talk about, you know, your season is obviously, you know, there's a lot of pressure on you and, you, you know, you seem to obviously, um, you know, obviously live up to that. But uh, how much are you feeling in the NCAA tournament here just to kind of um, continue that and, um, you know, just be this team's, uh, you know, go-to person? Uh, well, I think, I mean, with a winning mentality, obviously, in the Final Four and in the NCAA tournament, it's win or go home at this point. So just trying to win, that's all I'm really focused on. That's all our, our team is really focused on. Um, we're not really focused on, obviously, we want to win in the right way, but it's survive in advance, and we just want to do everything possible for our, us to win, and that's locking in on scouting reports, locking in on the scout, um, and just everything in practice, preparing up for these games. Um, and so I'm not tr trying to focus on the pressure and all the outside noise and just continue on focusing on winning a national championship with this team. All right, one last uh, question here for Paige, because we know she needs to head off, get ready for practice here. Uh, Chris Heidel with uh, Herb FM Sports Radio in Baltimore. Hi, Paige. I'm Chris Heidel from Herbert Radio in Baltimore, Maryland. Congratulations on winning the AP Award for Player of the Year. Uh, just talk about the whole tournament being down there in San Antonio and you guys have to be in, you know, what was the experience like being in that whole bubble situation? Um, Obviously, it's a little bit different um, than a normal NCAA tournament, but I, I personally don't know any different. This is my first year of college basketball, so it's kind of just been like that this whole year. It's a year of ups, ups and downs and a year of firsts for everybody. Um, but I think our team really didn't care what the circumstances were going to be like, um, how long we're going to have to be away in a bubble. We just wanted to come and play in the NCAA tournament because that's what we worked so hard for. Um, so obviously it's a lot of time in the hotel room. And if you're not there, you're either at the gym or at practice or at a game. Um, but we get to do little fun excur excursions here and there. Um, and we're always hanging out and trying to make it 
positive out of the situation because I think the team will handle handles it the best will come out on top so I think it didn't really matter what the situation we we're going to be in obviously we're extremely grateful to be here I know the NCAA worked really hard for this even to be happening right now so we're just extremely grateful to be here and get the opportunity to play well good luck Sunday night thank you